So I know what you're all thinking now after that, what you really want to hear about is Congress, right? Uh, so here I am to tell you about the hallowed halls of Congress and as you just saw, what's going on now behind those doors, which resembles a whole lot of Lucy and Ethel in the Chocolate Factory. And that's because technology has made it so easy to contact Congress, to tweet at Congress, to mail Congress, to share your opinion with Congress. And it's really tough for Congress to hear what you're saying. And as you may have heard, there's at least one way to influence legislation that I know has gotten a lot of attention lately. But there's a second way to influence legislation. Either you move money or you move people. And it's always been easy to count the money, pretty much. Uh, but counting the people is hard. This is uh, an amoebic a congressional district, one of uh, many. Uh, I think that's Texas 11. But Congress only wants to hear from their constituents. They're home now trying to shake every hand they can in the districts uh, because it's the constituents who matter. It's not the whole internet. And when the whole internet tries to send their messages into Congress, it's frequently unfocused, it's all over the place, and it's not necessarily tied to something that Congress can actually do. When you say balance the budget, well, what does that mean? We've all got lots of ideas about how to do that. So uh, it's tough to hear if the message is unclear. Uh, and it's tough to hear if the message is coming in in a way that is uh, thousands by the hour and from places that uh, may not even be within driving distance of the district. Uh, so, as a staffer, I was, I was getting very frustrated with the incoming information and thinking that someone else should be hearing these messages. And I got together with a team of wonderful people to work on this problem. And we thought, if you could create a platform where all the public information about bills could feed in, and all the information from the various organizations that are endorsing and opposing and telling you what you should think about these bills, uh, if those positions could be put in one place, and public input could be in one place, that we could start to address these issues. So that's why we created Popbox, where individuals and organizations can register their positions, individuals can say if they support or oppose. We send all of those messages to Congress, and Congress gets information in a way that's focused to an ask that they can actually fulfill, and you can actually see if they did in fact fulfill it. Uh, so we're counting the people, we're delivering the messages in in a way that Congress can actually receive, uh, and we're also displaying this publicly. So this is where you can go to Popbox and see what others are saying, and you can see how it's breaking down by congressional district, and bringing some transparency to the process, and seeing what others are saying, both pro and con. Uh, we also uh, display it in ways that, that you can break down by congressional district or by the bills that were introduced uh, by individual members. And we also let you go and match and see if your position matches the way your member voted. Uh, so the key to what we're trying to do with Popbox is provide transparency. And there's power in transparency. This is the first time we think that people are actually getting an idea about what Congress is hearing. Just think about it before you had no idea what your member of Congress is, was hearing and they had no idea what their colleagues were hearing. And when there begins to be transparency about that, you can start to hold them accountable for what they're hearing. But there's also a, an element of empathy it's, it's one thing if the National Association of this or that is telling you how you should feel, or tons of, of advertisements telling you how this will affect you. But when you see lots and lots of individual stories, both for and against an issue, that begins to really give it, um, to give it meaning, to give it depth. And those are the stories that move members of Congress too. They're people too. And then the last point that I think is so important is that members of Congress like it if you make them do something. It's hard to be brave in Congress. It's hard to be brave unless you can point to your constituents and say, this is what they're asking me to do, whether you're standing up to opposition or to your own leadership. Uh, so there's an enormous opportunity now that technology is giving us as citizens, as individuals in the United States and in the world to make our voices heard and affect true political change. And this technology is making it so the balance is shifting right now. There's never been a time in this world ever when your voice was more important and more powerful. 
Now your voice can be counted, your voice can be heard, and imagine the possibilities. We're just starting to scratch the surface within this country. Imagine the possibilities worldwide, and imagine what it looks like uh, when the voice of the people can be heard and is counted. Thank you.